How to contact your U.S. representative. With the visa backlog growing to more than 8 million cases at the end of fiscal year 2021, you may be wondering if there's a way to speed up the processing of your case. If you've already tried to follow up on your application by reaching out to the USCIS contact center and are still waiting, then as the next step, you can reach out to your congressional representative or the Office of the Citizenship and Immigration Services Ombudsman. Here's how to do it. Congressional representatives can get in touch with federal agencies on behalf of their voters as part of their constituent service. While your representative can't solve everything to do with immigration issues and won't be able to reverse or change any decisions, they can help put a spotlight on a specific case, which may highlight any processing delays or red tape issues. You can search for your state senator on the United States Senate website, or search for your congressional representative by entering your zip code on the United States House of Representatives website. Once you've found out who to contact, you can reach out to them via email or phone. Email is usually the most effective way, as it's the most convenient and easier to keep track of. If there's an emergency or you prefer to speak to someone over the phone, you can also find your representative's office contact number online. Once you call the right office, you can let the staff member know that you're in their district and that you need assistance with immigration processing and ask for the best person to speak to. Usually, USCIS will respond to congressional inquiries within 30 days if the request was sent through email, or by the next business day if the congressional office made a phone call. To authorize the congressional office to make an inquiry about your visa processing, you'll need to fill out a privacy waiver. You can usually do this online through the member's website. Contacting the CIS Ombudsman The Ombudsman's office investigates complaints and problems with USCIS. To contact the ombudsman about your case, you will need to fill out an online form. It's best to contact either your representative or the ombudsman, but not both. The ombudsman may respond more quickly, although it depends on your particular representative and how busy they are. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless on YouTube for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.